What is up everybody? It is Wick here and we're about to go thrifting. It is a new week. We're going to see what we find this week while we're out thrifting. I think I'm going to hit four thrift stores today and then who knows how many the rest of the week. Probably just do a week vlog this week because I'm backed up on editing videos anyway so we might as well not do a vlog every time I go out. But I got a ton of stuff that sold on eBay. Uh, we got three Ikea bags full, 20 some orders and all this stuff is going to the post office today. It's well over $1,000 in sales, so pretty good profits on all this stuff. Let's go see what kind of adventures we can get into today. So I've been in one Goodwill so far, and I got this Play School Teach Me Reader for $10. There was no information online about this. No solds, no one had it listed. I figure it has some things going for it. It's, it's in the box. It seems to be rare. It's vintage 1988, I believe it was. And it's a learning toy. So all this kind of stuff helps it sell, I think, just based on experience. I bought it mostly out of curiosity. I just want to see what it will sell for. I don't know what I'll list it at. Maybe I'll do an auction or something like that. Uh, I think I'll make some money on it though. Then I just got some filters for 3 dollars I'll make about $10 profit, maybe eight or nine. I don't know. Uh, I think they sell for about 20 on eBay. It's got some box damage, but that's okay because I'm selling them on eBay. I am inside of another Goodwill. We are looking at this old tool looking thing. I discover it's not old and I don't want it. Kind of looking for some old stuff to put around my house, kind of make it look a bit nicer, but I don't want any fake old stuff, right? There's a Blu-ray player, Magnavox, not really worth picking up, no remote. I don't like picking them up if they don't have the remotes. Blu-ray players are going down in value. A lot of 4K players are, you know, taken over. But some of the Sony ones, you know, especially the 3D Sony Blu-ray players, since they don't make those anymore, can be worth some money. There's an old TV from Pacific Technology. I don't even know that brand. Black and white. If it was color, I may consider it. Uh, some of those can be picked up. People like to mod them and still use them. Black and white, that brand, I, I tried to do some research, just didn't really pan out. There's a mail station. Uh, I've seen these at yard sales before and checked them out and they weren't worth anything then probably haven't went up in value I can't imagine anyone wanting to use a mail station to send an email or me even trying to test that Just not something I want to mess with. I think Goodwill had them priced up a bit high as well Looking over here. Let me know if you see anything that you would have picked up anything in this pile of junk That's worth money GE answering machine may have been worth picking up uh, those are going down in value as well a few years ago you could make a lot of money on answering machines and phones it's still can uh, you just got to pick the right ones over here in the large item area i guess i spot something i'm kind of creeping up on it uh like hey girl what's up just being creepy to this vacuum but 49.99 it's a kirby this model is pretty decent it's a little beat up it's got the attachments I didn't pick it up because I just, I have too many things to deal with right now and I actually have a vacuum I still need to deal with. I think it's a Kirby or a Rainbow. Uh, they're good to part out, but complete like this in working condition, you could probably get 150, maybe up to $200. Uh, still a good sale locally, probably. I just buy stuff to sell locally and I never do. So I just left it. Um, probably a bad reseller there on that part. See these Uncle Drew bobblehead sets? I'm like, eh, probably not worth anything. But then I quickly abandon them because I see a Transformer for $2.99. Looks like it's in great condition. Uh, don't know a lot about Transformers. Don't know that Transformer. Um, I did go back and check out Uncle Drew. And he was actually worth picking up, those bobbleheads. So I, I grabbed those. But we're just browsing around here in the toys looking for anything that we can flip on eBay or even possibly Amazon. Don't flip a lot of used toys on Amazon unless they're like an Indominus Rex or something where you can get you know, 150, 200 bucks for. Sealed name burst up there. Had a big hole in the side. Wasn't a great selling game. Here's a bag of toys. Goodwill's been pricing their little bags of toys up a bit. Uh, it used to be like a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars max, but uh, starting to get like, like this one was four dollars. Had some like Transformers in there, but they were like really generic Transformers. And the emblem kind of looked off to me. I guess it's legit Transformers. But you can tell they're definitely newer. And I kind of didn't want to mess with, you know, those. 
I already had one in my hand. I didn't know if it was worth anything. I figured at least 15. There's a Voltron. Um, I think it's Voltron or a Voltron lookalike. My eyes are so bad. My left eye has such bad cataract right now. And I'm getting ready to have surgery. So hopefully um, I'm going like two weeks. And hopefully they can get that set up quick. And I can have that surgery. Because I cannot read stuff on these toys. Can't read the model numbers or anything like that. But is anyone seeing anything I missed? Any like thousand dollar items I missed? I uh, would love to hear about it. I'd also love to hear about what kind of stuff you're finding, how your thrift stores are doing now that they're starting to reopen all across the country. It was some sort of stuffed animal look unique. I don't know what it was from. Here we are in another Goodwill looking at the toys. And I spot this sealed boggle game, travel game. I thought, hey, this is pretty good probably. No, not really. It sells for like 15. It doesn't even really sell. It's one of those games that just is sitting on eBay. No one's buying it. On top of that, the demo battery is dead so it's a good chance that it just exploded since this is an older toy not something i'm going to mess with for three dollars that's for sure so i put that back there's some plastic soldiers in like a retro box um i guess that sells for some reason i remember going to like kmart or odd lots it used to be called when i was a kid not big lots and i could get a bucket of plastic soldiers for like two dollars so i don't know i guess if you can make money selling boxed retro plastic figures go for it looking at the stuffed animals not finding anything and uh yeah that's about it for the footage today let me show you what i got so here it is here is the haul for monday through wednesday i'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog on wednesday because tomorrow i'm going to a big community sale and i'm just going to do a separate vlog for that so here's what i found some pretty interesting stuff not bad in the end uh, three days. I think I went to thrift stores about eight times. Um, let's get into it. First thing we got here is this Transformer. No, I don't even know what this is worth. I don't know this Transformer. I have done search after search. Uh, image searches. I cannot find it. And uh, usually I can find this stuff pretty good, even searching the number. So I don't know what this is worth exactly. If anyone knows what Transformer this is, please let me know in case I haven't figured it out by then. But I bought it because it was $2.99. It's in great shape. It has the sword. It even has the dart still in there that shoots out. So for $2.99, I figured, you know, it's probably worth at least $15, right? And even if not, it's still pretty cool. And then I got these Wildlife Treasury cards at Salvation Army. I've sold these before for about $40 to $50. Um, there is a couple cards that are bent. And you got some newspaper in here if you're wondering what that is. But these cards are pretty cool. They have like information about different animals. And I remember them from my childhood being, they, they were in the schools. And uh, yeah, I've never seen this case right here. I think it's probably the original case. Unfortunately, it's broken. I actually know where there's a case right now I can go buy at a thrift store. So I might go grab that and put the cards in there. But for $2.99, I should be able to sell this for about $40 plus shipping. At a goodwill, I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shower curtain. I was searching for a shower curtain because mine's, you know, just getting old and kind of grimy. So I'm like, you know what? I can find one at Goodwill. Now, I found a Ninja Turtles one, and I don't know if I'm going to use this. I don't really like the material. It's kind of a cloth. doesn't seem like it would be that great. And I really don't know if I want Ninja Turtles hanging in my bathroom. If this was like 80s Ninja Turtles, yeah, I, I would definitely want it. New Ninja Turtles, not the biggest fan. But still, it sells for about $15 uh, on eBay, and it will ship first class so we'll make some money on that and then we got a couple of these 20 questions games these are just you know bread and butter items they sell on amazon pretty well you know i'll probably make about eight dollars a piece on these uh selling them on amazon but also at that goodwill i picked up some merrill shoes they're in really good condition and they were five bucks so you know i'll probably price these at about 25 30 bucks and uh it seems like they're a, kind of a desirable model so we'll make some money on those. But look at these Pumas. These things are brand new. And if anyone watches the channel enough, you've probably seen that I wear red Puma shoes myself. And these are my size. Now mine are suede. So um, these are kind of like a shiny like poly material or something. Kind of weird. But I tried them on. They fit great. They're comfortable. I'm probably keeping these for myself. 
though I could probably sell these for $40 minimum, no problem, if I was going to. Um, probably don't really need them, but why not have them? <laughs> Some, sometime down the road, I'm going to want to wear them. Picked up this book at Goodwill for a dollar. This is a 4,000 rank in books on Amazon. Absolutely incredible rank. You can see it came from Amazon. And I will you know, make about $10, I think it was, used. So I went ahead and picked that up. And I got some more books. Now, these are pretty cool. These are video game books, manuals, uh, strategy guides. Final Fantasy III, which is actually Final Fantasy VI. It just released it as three in America. Anyway, uh, this is for the Nintendo DS version, unfortunately, not for the original Super Nintendo. I would probably put this in my collection if it was the original one, but it's still worth, I don't remember what all these are worth, but in the end, selling these manuals, I'll make $40 profit, no problem. Super Paper Mario for the Wii. I can't remember which one. There was one that was kind of selling for about $30, if I remember right. Um... This Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Kind of rough condition, that one. Star Fox Adventures. Oh, yeah, Bully. I think that was the one that was selling for like $25.30. However, mine's, you know, kind of beat up. But, yeah, I'll just, I'll probably sell these on eBay and make about, I might just lot them all together. I don't know what's going to be best, but I should make $40 profit on those. Got a decent amount of shoes today. I picked up this, these uh, Nautilus uh, not the best brand to sell. However, these are brand new Skid Buster, like Steel Toad. I uh, got new with tags there, so I figured, yeah, why not? We'll pick them up. And uh, what did I pay for these? Six ninety nine, I believe. Yeah, six ninety nine for those shoes. Followed everywhere, and yeah, you know, I might make twenty bucks on these in the end. And here's another pair of boots that I got that are not worth a whole lot of money, really. Uh, but they're Columbia, and they're in amazing condition. And they were $6.99, and I looked up comps, and it was just kind of like, ew, these things suck. Uh, <laughs> so why did I buy them? Uh, there's actually a pair that sold for one cent plus shipping on auction. Uh, so, but in this condition, in their size 13, which help, like even if I sell these for like 25 bucks plus shipping, I think somebody will eventually come through and buy them. Um, so yeah, you know, I picked them up. They're Columbia. They're a great brand. Let me know in the comments if you would pick up something like this. Uh, it just seems, you know, it's not great profits. In the end, I may only make like $10, but you know, why not? Why not pick them up? I picked up this U.S. Open racket for $2.99. It's in great condition. Uh, it's not a high-end racket. I actually didn't look it up before I bought it. I just bought it because I figured even at the low end, I still can sell this for $15, which... I'm going to be selling it for about $15, $20 plus shipping. So in the end, I'm going to make about $10 profit on this. It will still sell. But look at these book sets I got. Circle of Light. Uh, these are really old from the 60s and 70s. They're like book sets. It looks like popular library, maybe some sort of book club back then. I don't know. Uh, this one, it looks like I can sell for $20 to $25 on Amazon. But look at this Conan. This is like, uh, I believe it was 66 really cool. I might end up keeping this. I'm not a huge Conan fan or anything, but I just love the old box art. Really cool shelf piece. They were $3.99, but I saw the books. They were selling for about $30, but I could not find any listings or any anywhere where this slipcover exists. Online, I did Google searches. I searched eBay. I searched sold, you know, just no information on that. So if I was to sell this, I would, I would price a minimum $50. Um, I may shoot, you know, for 75 just to see if it's rare and Conan collectors, you know, are looking for it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But I think minimum, you know, I'm going to make $30 on it. And here's these Uncle Drew bobbleheads. I saw this at Goodwill and I wasn't that interested, to be honest. I thought it was going to be one of those things you scan and they're selling for like $10, maybe $15. Um, free shipping, you know. But no, they're, they're selling for about $35, it looked like. Um, maybe upwards to 40 and they are pretty light. So I figured, you know what? Why not just buy them? I'll probably make at least $15 profit on those. Uh, talked about the pure filters already and the play school thing. So here is some ink. Unfortunately, it is used, which I kind of assumed I should have just opened it in Goodwill. They had it taped shut. It was $2.99. It was $50 
toner. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it because I was in a hurry. I didn't want to just mess with it. That's why I didn't look up the racket. I just grabbed these two things and, you know, went out the door. But yeah, unfortunately, it is used. They're usually wrapped. And this one usually has a green slider that you have to pull to kind of activate it. Um, that's gone. But I'll just return it. I get $3 Goodwill credit uh, for my next purchase. No problem. But there it is. That's my haul for three days. You know, not, not one of my greatest hauls recently, but definitely not bad. We're definitely going to make some money. And it was certainly fun to go out and look for this stuff. Looking forward to the community sale tomorrow. I'll be vlogging that and doing a haul. So make sure to look for that video. So be subscribed. Hit this like button. Ring the bell. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.